Do thoughts have power? Well, Napoleon Hill thinks so, and I do too. And I want to explain to you how to seize that power and make it work for you in your life. You can call me Mocha Mom. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior. This is my YouTube channel where I share the ups and downs and hacks of all different kinds of working moms. This is my blog where I share with you the successes and failures going on in my life. I've launched my channel uh, five months ago and I've been putting up videos every week. I just switched to twice a week because I'm doing a vlog once a week as well as the the videos that I'm producing with other moms the other day of the week and I'm not seeing the growth that I wanted and so I've been thinking a lot about the limited amount of views that I'm getting how people aren't responding or commenting is it worth it for me to do all of this I'm not getting paid I want to build this up is it really viable do people care about this content are there really other overachieving stressed out working moms like me so many of them out there that they're interested in hearing this and will help be helped by hearing stories of other moms that are dealing with the same kinds of things that they are this is all the stuff that I've been thinking about you know why am I not getting enough views and instead of focusing on what I'm going to do to get more views and thinking and visualizing those videos that are going to be going big and getting more views I'm stuck thinking about the small numbers and everyday checking oh it's only two more it's only five more it's only ten more instead of thinking about when it's going to get to be bigger and what I need to do to get there. I did sign up for a class, so I should be very excited, and I am, about all the steps that I'm going to be taking in this class to learn how to grow my channel. And I realized when I went to my mastermind meeting that I attend once every two weeks, and we decided that we're going to take the Napoleon Hill 17 Laws of Success one at a time, every two weeks, discuss them, and then try to implement them in our lives, that I have not been following that power of thought um, tenet of his law of success and one of the reasons I haven't been is because I'm thinking about the fact that I'm not getting many views instead of the solutions that will get me there so when you have something where you're feeling stuck and you're feeling like you can't improve your situation and you're thinking over and over about the negative aspects of it it may be hard but you've got to think about the positive that is going to come out of the solution I once was in a terrible terrible position with my business and um, had had a free session with somebody to talk about um, ways to improve my business and I just kept going on and on about the problems and how these were overwhelming me and he said you're thinking too much about the problems and the more you think about problems the more problems are gonna come up but I'm like but these are problems I'm not creating these problems he's like you've got to think about the solutions and not the problems and it really is true I do believe in, in some aspects of the law of attraction and when you're thinking about things especially Especially if you're visualizing them you're writing them down you're taking steps towards them that is going to bring you closer to those things but you have to think about the things in the positive way if you're trying to lose weight you don't think about oh all this weight that I'm trying to lose no you think about um, the thinner you and the clothes that you're going to fit into you think about the things in the future that are going to be more positive and so I have had a lot of things in my life that I thought, oh my gosh, how am I ever going to get there? And I just kept visualizing and believing this is going to be my future. I'm eventually going to get a job as a television news reporter. It was very difficult, but it was something I wanted so much and I eventually did get there and had a career for a long time doing that. And I wanted someday to have kids and that even was not easy, believe it or not. You know, there's a lot of women out there struggling with fertility issues and I had my own, but I've got two beautiful, talented, wonderful children and I for a while, you know, my whole life had been renting. Am I ever going to be able to buy a house? And someday I did achieve that. And so now my big goal is my YouTube channel. Is this going to get big enough where I can reach people and help a lot of people? And somebody said the other day, if you help one person, you're making a difference. If one person is watching your video and getting something positive out of that and having a better day and seeing a, a, a solution in their life that's going to make things better, then that's good. And I said, yeah, that's true. I hadn't really thought of it that way. But I want to reach so many more and I'm impatient and I want it to happen right away. So I hope this class is going to really boost my ability to reach more people with my videos and help me figure out what my audience wants that's going to help them 
and I can produce more of those kinds of videos. And I want you to use that power of thought for anything that's going on in your life that you find yourself thinking negative thoughts. It doesn't mean that, oh, just switch and think positive thoughts and everything will be fine. It's not magic, but change the way that you're thinking about things. Instead of thinking about, oh, my messy house, think about, okay, this room today, I'm going to spend an hour getting this room straightened or organized or cleaned and, and, and visualize how it's going to look. And even if you don't get to it because your day gets crazy and everything goes out of whack, so then you spend 15 minutes before you go to sleep straightening out one corner and you say, okay, that's, that's what I'm going to think about is how much better I'm going to feel when that one little area is, is straightened out. Anything that you can do to flip around the negative thoughts that you're having into positive by thinking about the way things are going to be as opposed to just the problems you have now. The solutions. What is going to help you get to the next step and feel better about the problems that you're facing? And I wish you luck in that. And I want you to subscribe to my channel so you get more tips. There are lots of videos. Click on the next one. Watch that and learn about the hacks from other working moms that are helping them. And I will see you next time on my vlog here on Working Mom Warrior.